guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys, thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel, it means a lot. In today's video guys, uh, what we'll do, we'll, you'll actually work on Chevy Cruise and Chevy Sony guys. We'll show you how to remove and replace exhaust camshaft position sensor. We'll guys have more than 200 videos on this Chevy, Chevy Cruise here and this engine alone. So please guys subscribe, our goal is to save you guys as much money as we can. All we need in return, give a like guys to the video and subscribe to the channel. Now, in addition guys, we'll have more electrical videos, programming and all that stuff on our brand new channel, Electrical Car Repair Life. Please check it out. So, we're going to go ahead, open the hood now and we'll show you guys where the exhaust camshaft position sensor is located. Now, looking at the engine, this is your exhaust side, okay, that's your exhaust, that's your intake. So the exhaust camshaft position sensor should be somewhere on this side of the engine. And looking at it this way, okay, you can see this thing, okay, right here. This is your camshaft position sensor for the exhaust cam. So, how we guys remove that thing? First, okay, we'll need to disconnect the wiring harness, okay, that thing will need to come back. Okay, like that. Now we push down and we pull the wire out okay at the same time okay you can see right here you push down and you pull it out so you can see we got this thing out now we'll need to go ahead and remove okay we'll need to remove that mount right here and why we do that because we'll guys it will be in the way to remove the bolt so 10 millimeter wrench okay and we're going to remove one nut now okay we're almost ready so this mount can come up like that now we can access the bolt which is okay this bolt right here with reverse torques guys reverse torque socket 12 it will be listed in the description of the video below so okay let's see if we can remove it that way or we will need to remove okay i'm going to disconnect okay let me just get this one because we will break it okay that connector here I'll just remove it out of the way so we can actually twist it that way. Okay, perfect guys, this is the bolt. Now we're going to grab our sensor. Just wiggle it, wiggle it. Okay, let me show you quick. Okay, like that and pull it out. So we'll grab the new sensor now guys. You can find where we get ours from in the description of the video below guys. And we'll show you how to install it now. So we get the new sensor. We're going to apply a little bit of used oil. Okay, from the hole there. Just a little bit around the old seal, O-ring seal, so that can uh, it can go in easy. Push it in. We're going to install our bolt, guys, now. Okay, don't forget to install the bolt. We'll get this one tight. It usually go, but goes by hand pretty easy. Now, if you guys have any specific requests, drop a comment below. We'll try our best to make a video for your specific problem, guys. So, that way we can get more ideas for videos and help you at the same time. Okay, getting the two in and just getting it tight now. Perfect, right there. Now, what we will need to do, we need to connect that one here, but it will go, well, first we will connect the camshaft position sensor. Push that great thing in. Okay, and now, okay, this sensor right here, let me see exactly which way it goes 
Okay, perfect. And we need to install our mount with a 10 millimeter nut. And from that point on, this is it, guys. So get that nut tight. Thank you for watching, guys. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time.